And Phil, what an interesting start to this game. DC United really in great possession early on. Tampa, quick little give and go in midfield to Heidek on the right. They draw the free kick, and Valderrama curls his ball away from Causey, and it's headed in the net for a one nothing lead. Go back to the foul on Gorey, which appeared to be somewhat inconsequential, but you can see what Valderrama can do if he's given some space. The goal in the fourth minute. Carlos Valderrama setting up Steve Ralston, and Valderrama with his 14th assist on the year. Three behind Echeverry now in that race, and Ralston with goal number seven. Ralston out of Florida International University, continuing to have a good year here in Major League Soccer. Remember the last time they played here in Tampa? It was Jaime Moreno, the young Bolivian superstar who has yet to touch the ball. Scoring in the fourth minute. And that set up a 3-1 victory for D.C. So Tampa returns the favor in the return match. And Phil, I really think Coach Thomas Rondon is, is placing a lot, of, a lot on this game here today because of the psychological edge that, that they will keep Ralston to get in there with a nice piece of work. Diving header there, slotting it past Jeff Causey for the 1-0 Tampa lead. Causey, the goals against average of 1.94. That is 10th in major. It's 2-0 Tampa Bay. Jeff Causey could do little about that one. A perfectly flighted cross for the head of Lasseter. That's one of the easiest ones Roy Lasseter will get. And the leading goal scorer in Major League Soccer strikes again. Here it comes. Frankie Haydick gets in behind after a great ball from Valderrama. Curls it to the far post. Completely unmarked. Heads into the empty net. And there's a distraught Jeff Causey there. He had to worry at the near post as Nelson Vargas was coming in. And Lasseter left open. And... When you're talking about the leading goal scorer in the league, you've got to have someone mark him. And it looks like Clint P.A. was caught now. And it Clint P.A. prevented the turn. Incredible little touch there by Valderrama. Just rolled the ball back with the sole of his foot and then played it forward with his opposite one. Let's take a look at it. Watch, he'll roll this ball back with the sole of his foot and then flick it forward. Well, no, here it is, the initial ball. He plays into the corner. Ralston flags it down. And we didn't really get to see it, but Ralston there again, the recipient of another fine Valderrama ball. Pass, Diaz Arce in the middle. Moreno, Echeverry, nice push forward from Santa. Across the box, Diaz Arce, and he tried to one-time it near corner. And Budnick can breathe again as Diaz Arce whipped it wide. But the flag was up here on the sideline by the referee calling an offside. Let's see Pibe Valderrama on this great ball around the penalty area. And this is some of the magic of the great Colombian. Watch this. He rolls it back with his right foot, plays it forward with the inside of his left. And Hedick almost gets turned in the penalty area there. What a piece of magic from Valderrama. Jaime Moreno has had some problems. Carlos Valderrama has not.